Ray's been gone a long time, but she will return. better how to lead than our talk. We must have our faith in him. No space. Something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. May the songs of the lost echo eternal. Ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send-off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear. In your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. 
fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aria. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rats. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgund. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratok no, could tell me more about Araya or Thunderstrom. Might be worth a shot. Okay, if I want to learn more about how this daemon affects the machines, I've got to find Araya. To do that, I need to talk to her apprentice, who followed the river north. Outland, wait, wait a moment. That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. This? It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with a... Help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. Hunters think they're so tough. They've never spent all day scrubbing dye in the scrap cloth. Any news from the hunt? Oh, the herd hunters. isn't roaming far from Coming the camp. Coming at once. We're gonna get this time. Then we wait. But I bet we'll see a stray. All right, I'll keep watching. Take to knock one of those over. They're about to last. Bergen said Araya's apprentice went north of the river. 
Hopefully not too far. There must be no Tuke looking out at that. Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Asaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The demon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Aratok said this daemon was... frenzying machines? Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. These towers, were they part of your corruption? Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Soraya wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. All right. You want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Aurea. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. Interesting. Maybe I could override it. from the tower.
Just stay out of their way for now.
Useful. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. But what she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her... I have faith she will hear the voice again. All right, I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. These mountains must be the ice rasps. The shimmer's path against somewhere up above. Pretty far up. The shaman's path must be around here somewhere. This must be one of the markers Naltuk told me about.
Looks like each marker points to another. Giving directions. Guess I'm heading deeper into the cold, creepy ice cave. Dead end. But at least there's stuff. This loot. Took a wrong turn. Another marker. Good. Time. Not sure I saw this fork before. Not this way. But then, where?
chime. Not sure I saw this fork before.
stalkers. One way or another. with the cave. What's next on this path? Then we go.
down is. Down, then up. the rope to move this thing into position. Okay, the bridge is filling up. There's definitely something new out here, and I don't think it's friendly. until I deal with that tower.
down. Now back to finding Araya, which means we've got to climb. Spare the weight. I should be able to get up there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Must be the shrine Naltuk was talking about. Guess I should take some blue gleam. door. Maybe Aurea is inside. March 10th, 2046. I just spent 16 hours in here, trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair... Oh boy, I should just go to bed. Locked. Maybe my focus can help. Something over here. This is Director of Security Blevins resending the emergency supply order. Try reading it this time, okay? You sh weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC. Director of Security Blevins is writing us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Do with these lights. 